It's another absolutely devastating serve. Is there any play here? Not really. Benali just has to hoist it over there. Uh, yeah, finding the line there. Felipe Roque and Brazil are just tearing this up now. They got woken up. They thought it was too easy. They suddenly looked up at the scoreboard, saw Italy had a four-point lead, and they just collectively went, we're not having that. Isaac has led the way with this destructive spell of serving. It's just blown this set completely apart here. He's not finished yet. Cavuto just about gets that under control. And then Lavia gets blocked. It just goes on and on for Italy here. They just can't get off the hook. Antonov's going to come in, but it's not Kabuto that's stepping out, it's Lavia. Isaac hasn't finished. Oh, it's another beauty. Pesarese has got that. Antonov finally rubs one off the block to end a turnaround that went from 11 7 up to 11 15 down. That is devastating serving. Isaac's just single-handedly destroyed Italy here in this third set. So it's Brazil who suddenly find themselves cruising now at the second technical timeout. They were chasing, and Isaac said, you know what, we're not getting a bonus. We're going into a fourth set. Let's just get it done here. Stuff's really coming in now. Antonov has to just reach for that and has done beautifully. Really good execution there. Pinali. Serving Tales, perfect take from Tales, sent back by Douglas Sider. Textbook stuff, textbook now from Brazil. All they've got to do is keep the focus here, I think, the South Americans, and there's just no way of getting back into this one for Italy. That was absolutely brilliant. All three phases of the game, perfect there. Reception set, kill. It's another big serve. From Mauricio, Cavuto's hung it up in the air. Antonov can't get a winner. They can regroup and go to Douglas, who will rub one off the block. Well, that is just remarkable, really. Brazil were challenged. What have they done? Won 11 out of the next 13 points against a good Italy side. Even that's been kept alive once again. Maike coming in and uh, digging. Couldn't quite get it under control. Uh, when you're given limited opportunities, as the Brazil number 22 is, you want to try and make the most of them. He nearly, very nearly got under that. 
not quite. So, side out for Italy. They were just rocking here. They must be wondering where the next point on serve is coming from. Not coming from there. Love you will come back in for Antonov. Mauricio Souza then. Messerezi hoists it high. Gabuto with a tentative push. That got sent back. He can swing now. It does. Nicely done. That'll be Anzani back there then. Spetto is forced to try and push and can't. Here we go the width of the court. Spare a thought for Oreste Cavuto. We've got a lot of net court and nothing else. Vic Cui and uh, Gabriele Inelli's World Cup is done. They're in the bullpen. And I don't think they'll be coming out. Because there's no comeback from this. Italy the master of the five-set comeback yesterday. And not going to recover from this as Penali goes long. And uh, Brazil just grinding it out now. Fifteen points out of the last nineteen. It's an ace off the net cord. Well, when you're the best team in the competition, the best team in the world, you know, you find out a lot how you respond to adversity. Not that long ago. They were trailing this set 11-7. Just look at what's happened since. Pesarese gets under that. And the finale must be seeing this court like a postage stamp at the moment. Must look so small for these Italian hitters who've just been knocked out of this third set completely. Blown off the court by the best team in the world right now. It's Fernando back there then at match point. Is this the last point of the World Cup for the champions? You bet it is, and how appropriate that they finish with an ace. Oh my goodness me, that was absolutely devastating. They wanted to make sure they won their last match. When they were challenged in that third set, they rose to the challenge. 18 points out of the last 22 won by Brazil. That says an awful lot about Renan Dalzotto's squad. And that wasn't the case of giving it up for Italy as well. They just got smashed out of sight once Isaac went to work with that burst of serves. Italy just collapsed. They had nowhere to go. So they did it. They'd already won the gold. Now... They've emulated the Chinese women who won the gold in the Women's World Cup last month without dropping a match. Brazil have followed suit.
しむよ大きな拍手 You get the sense that one meant even more to them than guaranteeing gold last night against Japan. They loved it.